the majestic sight of Panasonic Toyota Racing's TF108. Sweeping through corners at speed is the public face of Formula One. But away from the Grand Prix track, there is another hidden world of continuous technical development. A world that increasingly relies on digital simulation. I think we, we live in a digital world now, we have to recognize that and uh, in Formula One uh, we are pushing the limits of simulation and the utilization of computer power to absolutely understand where the performance can be found in the future. So even if we still use track testing or wind tunnel testing, uh, normally the area that we're looking in is predefined uh, by computer simulation and we're looking in a, a fruitful area where we can cultivate performance. Simulation technologies are used by many departments within Panasonic Toyota Racing. For example, in its preparations for the Canadian Grand Prix, the team uses a so-called seven-post rig. It's a sophisticated system of hydraulic rams that can exactly recreate the suspension movements of any of last year's Grand Prix races. It's particularly important for the race in Montreal. It's very important because uh, contrary to other circuits, uh, you have these chicanes where um, the more you can ride the curbs, the more you can straight line them and the more time you're going to gain. Uh, that means if you have a car that handles uh, perfect over the curbs, you take them with you and you're going to gain a lot of uh, speed and lap time just only in the chicanes which you don't have to gain on the rest of the circuit. Similarly, the engine department uses its test bench or dyno rig to simulate a lap on any circuit where telemetry data has previously been collected from the car. Typically before Canada or any other race, we have uh, in our computer the complete uh, throttle behavior that maybe can reproduce uh, Jarno's driving style or even a virtual driver that is trying to make his lap time in this, uh, with a dyno. And in, in this way, we can already start to anticipate some potential problem in terms of engine response or engine mapping that the driver and the team can find directly in Canada. Perhaps even more useful is the almost real-time application of this technology. During the Grand Prix weekend, engine data can be sent back to the factory for simulation tests. For example, if during uh, the weekend a driver experiences a particular problem in a certain corner, we can uh, download all the data, reproduce it at, at home, work with the right time, with the right tools here, and then uh, hopefully to give some suggestion to help the people on the track. In the aerodynamics department, a combination of wind tunnel and computer simulation technologies also provides useful guidelines. Obviously we have a, a very large wind tunnel uh, facility in addition to a very good computational fluid dynamic resource uh, which is effectively trying to reproduce the wind tunnel in the computer. Uh, in the wind tunnel we have a very complex arrangement whereby we try and replicate the, the track conditions as realistic as possible. Um, in CFD we then try and match uh, the model and, the, and the, the computational model to the tunnel so we can try and improve the correlation from CFD to the tunnel to the track. While simulation is increasingly important at Panasonic Toyota Racing, the team is careful to keep these techniques in perspective. No, you cannot trust simulation because simulation is just simulation. The simulation is just uh, as good as uh, as your department, your simulation department is, and uh, in any case, it faces, I would say, natural uh, limitations. So, what is essential when you use simulation is to know exactly the limits of it. You cannot e expect the simulation to tell you exactly how stiff your suspension has to be. What you can expect from the simulation is to give you directions. It will give you a diagnostic. So, uh, simulation is all about. Uh, the way you use it, because simulation is not the reality. Simulation is indeed not the reality. And despite all the complex technology, for millions of fans around the world, that reality will always be defined by the sight and sound of an F1 car driven in anger. <laughs>